So I had this subject come up a lot um, in workshops and different programs, and it has to do with style. People are always asking about, you know, what what's my style, or how do I get a style, and I I do so many different kinds of things. I don't, you know, that's, you know, we look at artists out there who are successful, you know, or historically, and we look at Diebenkorn, and it's like it all kind of hangs together, and that, I need my work to be like that, and I just wanted to touch upon it because that used to cause a lot of anxiety for me. And until I, until I kind of changed it up a little bit, and I decided to make um, style, the word style I swapped out with the word preference, because I believe that that actually is more, more telling and more helpful. So if you think about what you prefer, and if you think about things you choose, if you focus on that, like, you know, you're working, whether you're working in encaustic, whether you're working in watercolor, or however you're working, if you can start paying attention more from the inside to the outside, do I like this color? Do I like the way this composition looks? Do I like really soft edge things? Do I like really hard edge things? Whatever it is, and of course those preferences change over time, but getting in touch with what you really love and choosing that, getting good at choosing that. So now we're kind of talking about discernment if you're good at choosing, then that be, starts becoming more consistent. It's like you, it's almost like your operating system or your policy of what you like. And, and that starts showing up in your work. And that's what gives your work its unique kind of look because your preferences, the answers to your questions, the series of yes, no's are particular to just you. And that's what gives your work a style. That's what makes it look actually like you. And so there really isn't any need to artificially do this or to gain this or try to stay in a certain kind of material. I mean, that kind of does it a little like, oh, well, it's all encaustic. It has a certain look because encaustic kind of does. But it's much better to think bigger than that and think about from the inside out. What is it that lights me up? What are the big yeses in my life and in my art? that makes me feel inspired, that makes me feel alive, and then try to go for that feeling in your work. Recognize parts of your work that you like like that, and choose those, and eliminate the other ones, and add more of the ones you like. And so you just keep following that. You lean towards the things that light you up. That leaves a trail of work. That inquiry, that trail, that path, when people see that, not only do they want to follow that and they, they get it, it's like you're so in it, that they recognize something and that's what they kind of call style. But they, they want it too, they get that you're on it and you're hunting down what brings you alive and that's what creates amazing artwork. So you already got all that, we already have that, everyone's born with those preferences inside of them. You just need to start getting more in touch with it and start displaying that in your art, and the style part will just take care of itself. Great. <laughs>